Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing the Flash Terminal Velocity. Take a look at the cover right here. Now, Terminal Velocity is a Flash story that has a little bit of everything for everyone. In addition to that, it's a very coming of the age story for Wally West, because we have Wally West who was, for the most part, kind of a um, a easygoing Flash. And from this story, he kind of transcends into a more serious, mature Flash. Because he starts to get his priorities straight. Now, the story starts off with the Flash going into the future, and also going into the past. Now, when he went into the past, he got to speak to his younger self. Nothing really happens to get shit. However, when he goes into the future, he sees this horrific future where Keystone City is leveled by Cobra. And Cobra is this big, evil, villainous group. Not the G.I. Joe Cobra, no, a different one. These guys actually wear Cobra-like costumes. But whatever. So the Flash sees this horrific future, and eventually he returns back to the present day. After seeing this horrible future, he thinks it would be best to start training someone that will replace him in case something goes down and he dies. Someone that can pick up where he left off. And he starts training Bart Allen for the job. Now, he's also keeping secrets from his girlfriend, Linda. Now, see, he's always had an open relationship with her. However, he starts to kind of keep secrets from her because he doesn't want to reveal the future. He doesn't want to reveal that he dies. He doesn't want to reveal that Keystone City gets royally shanked up the bum. Uh, this starts to create a wedge in their relationship. That and him and Bart Allen are not getting along at all. Um, he doesn't respect him, and Wally can't seem to teach him. So Wally asks for the help from Johnny Quick, Jesse Quick, Max Mercury, and the original Flash, Jay Garrick, to help him out train Bart and kind of teach Bart and mold him into the role of the new Flash in case Wally dies. Uh, while all this stuff is going on, Wally has to deal with Cobra, who are consistently attacking him. In addition to that, he starts to turn into true, pure energy. What this is, he doesn't know. Now, I don't want to reveal too much of the story and exactly where it goes, but there's a lot of twists and a lot of turns and a lot of real personal, nice, emotional moments in the story. Um, this story also is where they introduce the Speed Force fully into the Flash comics, kind of tying together where all the Flashes and all the Speedsters get their speed from. So, that's really the story essentially you know, telling you where it starts off. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but I don't want to reveal too much because I don't want to give a lot of it away. So I'll do the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Uh, good. Uh, there's a lot in this for everyone. You want action, action is in this. If you're a sucker for a love story, this is a good love story. If you want a story that's really about the character of Wally West, the personality of Wally West, you're going to get it here. And there's a lot of characters that get star in here. You get, uh, like I said, you get Johnny and Jesse Quick, you get Bart Allen, you get Jay Garrick, you get Max Mercury, who's actually kind of an interesting character. Uh, you, you also get Batman, Robin, Hawkman, uh, Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner, and Superman shows up. Uh, so they kind of show up also. Um, so you get your action, you get your love story, you get kind of a personal Wally West story. And the story does a good job at distributing all these aspects very well. Because a lot of times when the story is trying to do everything, it usually screws up in doing everything. It's like, you know, it just doesn't work. It's like a girl giving a blowjob to five million guys. Everyone else is going to be unsatisfied if you start focusing on one person. If you start focusing on the action, you're going to lose the story. If you start focusing on the story, you're going to lose the, the characters. This does a good job at doing everything for everyone. So you'll find a little bit of everything there for everyone. Um, downside. Honestly, I can't say there was much of a downside to this story. Uh, I thought it was everything was well done in it. It was well written. It was handled very well. Uh, the art was very good. And on a whole, I really liked Terminal Velocity. I liked it more than Born to Run. Uh, these are the only two Flash stories that I've read so far. But uh, Terminal Velocity... So far, it's my favorite Flash story. It has a little bit of everything for everyone. And it really is a good, maturing, coming-of-age story for Wally West. Um, it's a good point to enter in the Flash, too. If you couldn't get your hands on to Born to Run, 
Um, then you, if you can find terminal velocity, it's not a rare thing. If you can find it, I do recommend picking up because this is a great story. It has good art. It has a little bit of everything for everyone. And like I said, I'm a sucker for love stories, so this is a pretty good love story too. Um, I, I recommend reading the introduction and also the aftermath stuff because um, that's interesting also. So and, uh, apparently this was a big flash story back in the day. Uh, this takes place roughly after Zero Hour. So, just to give you a feel on where Flash is at this point. But like I said, definitely pick this up. This is a good story. This is a great Flash story, and I think it would be a great addition to anyone's collection. Who is a casual comic book reader, a non-Flash fan, or a Flash fan that's just starting to become a Flash fan, like myself. So with that said, this is Andrew. Pick this up. Peace out for now.